Okay. are fed my kids who I bring with me have a two-hour delay so now I'm going to start cleaning up the kitchen usually my two kids are not here at this time so normally we start school but since my kids will be here for the next hour they'll probably just play and watch Netflix and stuff so I will keep you updated throughout the day blankets away and then put all the laundry in the laundry room to get folded or to get washed and folded. This is my next project while they're watching the TV is just to uh, quickly clean up the toothpaste all over it, I need to change it. I clean off the sink, clean up the floor, I make sure that there's two rolls of toilet paper there because if anybody with kids know, they go to toilet paper like crazy. And then I'm pretty much done for the day. Oh, this room at least. Sometimes I have to come in here and clean up here. And you can see there's coats, towel, shoes, baskets from yesterday full of laundry, other things that need to be hung up, the snow gear has to be taken care of, and this is normally where we put that dirty laundry, so as you can see, I did most of the laundry yesterday, so there's not much in there. So this is what I will clean next. Right, turtles can't be ninjas. But ninjas are real, and turtles are real. And it looks like when I'm done, everything is pretty much put away. Okay, I'm going to try to use my iPad to record this because I can't download this for some reason on the iPad. 
but I do a devotional every day, well I try to do it every day for Lent, I've decided to make sure and give time to do the devotional, it's called Live Out Loud, and today's was pretty interesting, um, I know that a lot of people on YouTube are doing a bunch of purging and decluttering, so I thought this was interesting. Give generously to them, so without a grudging heart, the new possible Lord your God will bless you and all of your work, and in everything that you put your hand to. I thought that was interesting. This whole article, or this whole devotional, is about um, just giving away whatever you don't need and not hanging on to things, because um, if you pray, God will tell you where to give them. And I've done this many of time with my kids and things where I've noticed that they have too much and so I have, um, I've even just prayed and said, Lord, where, where can I put these? Where can I send these for good use? And he has, I mean, popped out of the woodwork and had people say, oh my gosh, my house burnt down or I really need this or I lost my job and my children need clothes. So, I mean, we give 99% of our stuff away to family and friends. We donate everything. I hardly, hardly, hardly sell anything. It just goes into a bag and I give it away. So, I thought this was interesting. Start a blessing box. So, what they say is to make a box, go through your cupboards, go through stuff on Time to go. Oh, oh, oh. No, thank you guys. All right, you guys ready? Have a great day. I'll see you after school. Ride the bus home. I did some devotional this morning, and the kids are off to school. It is now 10:09. We're gonna start our own homeschool here soon, and we'll see what happens. Did you play some play doh? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And we played downstairs for a little bit.
my college roommates remember this. Every time I clean, I have my hand like this. Watch. <laughs> 